In question two of this series, where we learn how to solve photon energy type problems, we're asked, a 100 watt light bulb radiates energy at a rate of 100 joules per second. If all of the emitted light has a wavelength of 525 nanometers, how many photons are emitted per second? The way I'll tackle this question is similar to the way I tackled question number one. I'm gonna find out how much energy per photon occurs for this particular wavelength. So let's go ahead and do that. We have E is equal to H times the frequency, which can be expanded to C over the wavelength represented by lambda. H represents Planck's constant, and that's right here. We have 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules per second. And that's being multiplied to the speed of light. So I'll write that down next to it. 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second over the wavelength of 525 nanometers. Now we have to find out what that is in meters and we can do that by writing it out as 525 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meters. What will happen now is this meters unit and this meters unit will go away. This seconds and this seconds will go away and we'll have a number that's completely in joules per photon. So I'll write down E subscript photon. Let's go ahead and find out the answer. Starting with 6.626, bracket 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 3, 4 times 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by bracket 525 times 10 to the power of negative 9. We end up with 3.786 times 10 to the power of negative 19. 3.786 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules per photon. Now the question also suggests that we have to assume three significant figures in our calculation. So we'll keep all of these significant figures, but for the next calculation, we'll have to take that into account. Now we're told the rate is 100 joules per second. And as with any rate, we can flip this where we have one second per 100 joules. So what I will do is multiply this number with this number. Look what happens if I do that. One second per 100 joules times 3.786 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules per photon. They're asking for photons per second. So this joules and this joules will cancel out, leaving us with seconds per photon. The number that we have on our screen divided by 100, but we want photons per second. This is seconds per photon. So I'll take the reciprocal of this. One divided by the number that I just found, and that's 2.64 times 10 to the power of 20. 2.64 times 10 to the power of 20 photons per second. That's the answer to question number two. If you'd like to see the answer to question number three, make sure you watch question three of this series. We'll see you soon.